Hey there, Superlama here. Um, today I'm going to try and open this uh, Trekmaster 30 challenge lock um, on camera. He calls this Devious Dexter. Um, this lock was very, very weird. I just picked it. It's a little bit tight going uh, clockwise. Um, not, not so uh, tight going counterclockwise. This might also have something to do with it, just because I don't have a kick holder. Um, but it's also very, very floppy. It doesn't seem to be... kind of is, but uh, the first time I did pick it, there was a lot of flop in it, so I wonder if there were some key pins that were um, stuck up in the Bible um, or something. Let's see here, Deforce Diamond. See if I can get into it again in a decent time. First time I was just kind of poking and prodding at it. Something doesn't feel right in there. Everything's very, very springy. Just trying to loosen everything up. a bit better. Yeah, this lock gives very, very little feedback. Um, so right there, I got a little sharp click, and then that was it out of those pins. Um, and everything else is pretty well springy. Okay, we got a little bit of a deep false set there. Oh, okay, deeper false set there. So I've lost my deep false set now. I may have overset something. Got a little click and a little bit of a false set back.
Trackmaster, you've always made some very, very interesting locks. The way they react to being picked is one of the oddest feelings I've ever had. Okay, so I must have overset something and I got my deep fall set back because I let off on a little bit of tension and suddenly I got it back. We're not open, are we? No. Must be a T pin or a really thin spool hiding in there somewhere. Pretty sure when I opened it last time I got it off of one of these back pins, but I'm not getting anything out of any of them. Oh, wait. No. Nothing out of those guys. I have no idea what's holding me up here. I'm going to say it's a really deep spool with one of those little footings on the end. Just enough to hold me back. But at the same time, it's odd because I'm not getting any feedback anywhere.
don't know what that pop is for. Something's happening there. I'd really like to get it to find out. Okay. Gotta click out of something, but still no open. Okay, I've got a set out of one pin here, and I've lost my deep false set. Oh, and there we go, we're open. I think I might have overset a key pin. Finally. Okay. And the front is marked, which is good. And I do have a key, so I will lock this back up. Um, I'm very curious to see what's in here. Oh, it's very tight, okay. things up pretty good. Maybe I should have checked that first. quite easy. Okay, so there is a ledge here. I uh, don't know if you guys can see that. So I will be shimming this. I want to know what was holding me up. Last four chambers look like they're undercut. That explains so much. Uh, and chamber one is threaded. Very nasty.
nasty serrations on one, three, four, and uh, torpedo like um, T pins almost on two and five. <clears throat> Very, very nice serrated driver on one and a, that looks like a steel spring. Oh, it's doubled up, a steel and a copper spring. One stacked on top of another. It's a short one, but it's there. And uh, it looks like uh, chamber one is threaded on top. That uh, works very well on that uh, driver. That makes a lot of sense. It's um, upside down torpedo like um, spool and steel spring threaded up top. Double spool on three. Copper spring threaded on top. This looks like a single thin spool. It is, and it was like that. I'll get to him after. That looks like a copper spring. And that also looks like threading. And another thin spool with some serrations on either end. Okay, just give me a minute here while I get these uh, these other springs out okay so it's threaded completely on all the chambers up top got undercuts on four through five or sorry uh, two through five threaded on one and we've got <clears throat> serrated keep in serrated driver and that again is in a threaded um, chamber all the way through a torpedo like um, keep in on two and a, that's an interesting ball on top, um, spool uh, for the driver in two, and again that's undercut, um, serrated keep in, double spool on undercut, serrated keep pin and sp single spool on four, undercuts again, uh, and a torpedo T pin and serrated spool on five, and again undercut. So, I'll put all these into the uh, chambers here, just to see how effective they are. Keepins, I notice, are a little, a little tight in the chambers. Um, one thing I do notice when threading um, upper chambers is the, uh, the springs do get caught quite easily. Uh, in it, which can end up leaving um, a crunched up spring in the top, and uh, uh, you could end up with uh, basically a springless chamber if the spring gets jammed up, uh, up on top um, far enough. So, focus. There we go. Okay, so. Serrated in one, threaded, undercut with this spool, every single bit of that is working. Um, undercut spool, every single bit of that is working, and I, I felt it work. Um, spool, undercut, definitely did its job there, and spool and undercut definitely did their job there. So, Chris, thank you. I can't even get the pins out. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for sending me this lock. Um, Trekmaster30, thank you so much for building this lock. Everyone else, thanks for watching. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.